pleasant day in each one of you. I am Kyla D. Bagasin, a fourth-year student taking a Bachelor of Physical Education in University of Perpetual Health System, Delta Las Piñas, Philippines. Our research paper is entitled, Emergency Preparedness and Risk Reduction Management, a Phenomenological Research. For our introduction, accidents can occur both inside and outside the home, as well as at school while students are participating in physical activities. Knowing emergency situations serves to improve awareness among those who are unaware of the various types of mishaps that can occur at any time and in any location. The awareness of emergency situations encourage a well-lit and secure environment throughout people's surroundings, allowing them to feel more comfortable. Knowing how to manage emergency situations can save lives, especially those of our loved ones. For our methodology, the study used a qualitative research, particularly phenomenological research. The intentionality of an experience or its being oriented towards something is its essential structure since it is an experience of or about some object. By virtue of its content or meaning, which reflects the object along with appropriate enabling conditions, an experience is oriented towards an object. And for our statement of the problem, first, what are the different preparations that an emergency responder should take into consideration? Second, what are the different techniques or strategies that the participants used in teaching emergency cases? Third, how do the participants adhere to the curriculum in teaching the emergency preparedness? Fourth, what are the insights gained by the proponents? And the last is, based on the results, what can be proposed? Okay, so under the co-participants of the study, we have the vignettes of our seven co-participants. Our co-participants were have been part of a rescue team or and performing different rescues for more than three years and have been an expert in the field and has served as an instructor for not less than three years and are willing to participate in our study. And the interview proper lasted for 45 minutes up to two hours. Okay, so for our rescuer one, um, he is an engineer by profession. He is passionate in serving the people. He is um, currently the head safety officer of one of the universities here in the Philippines and also a member of Philippine Air Force Reserve Unit. Okay, so for our rescuer two, he is one of the instructors of the well-known rescue group in the country and also a member of Philippine Air Force Reserve Unit. He is uh, dedicated in teaching skills in emergency preparedness. And for the rescuer three, he is registered nurse and um, also one of the emergency medical technician in the country. Uh, he also has master's degree in disaster risk management or MDRM, and he is currently working to Disaster Risk Reduction Management, or RRMO, here in the Philippines. Okay, so for our rescuer four, his work is Occupational Safety Practitioner of one of the universities here in the Philippines, and he has served for more than a decade as a safety officer. For our rescuer five, he was a safety officer and emergency responder for 12 years, and he is currently working of one of the universities in the country, and he currently taking his master's program degree of master in public administration. For our rescuer six, he has been a firefighter for six years, and he is also a medic team leader. 
And for our rescuer 7, he has been a firefighter also and an emergency personnel for three years. Okay, so for our results and discussion, the study is composed of one narrative which pertains to the vignettes of the co-participants who had given their willingness to participate in the study. This chapter will also discuss in the three major themes and the six sub-themes that emerge during the conduct of the interview. The researchers analyzed the data by formulating narratives and groupings all the data through themes and sub-themes. Okay, so results and conclusion. First, under the results, there are a lot of things that need to be prepared by any person who wish to venture in emergency preparedness. The researchers were able to come up with the theme, My Preparations, as an emergency responder. It includes physical training, learning the different theories, and willingness to serve. For the conclusion, being an emergency responder is a tedious job. One must be prepared physically, mentally, and emotionally. Second, under the results, the most important things that one must consider in teaching emergency preparedness is by being creative and innovative in the approach. One must also be aware that he or she must be very knowledgeable. And for the conclusion, as an instructor, one must have different strategies on how to teach emergency preparedness in different ways, especially through the experience they have undergone. Um, third, understanding and awareness of the subject matter together with knowing your objectives of the lesson is very vital. And for the conclusion, understanding and awareness in emergency preparedness is a big help as the instructor adopt most important things in the curriculum. Um, last, for the results and conclusion, the researchers were able to come up with a proposed resiliency model. And for the conclusion, the resiliency model will guide teachers who will be teaching emergency preparedness. Through this model, it will give the teachers a better perspective on how to teach emergency preparedness to the learners of the basic education. Okay, so for our model, um, we came up with the emergency response aid framework. Okay, so Emergency Response Aid Framework is a framework that will explain on how to build resiliency in teaching emergency preparedness in basic education learners. The significance of this proposal is for the teachers in setting some um, preparations, techniques or strategies, and to be devoted in teaching the subjects. Okay, so the colors and shapes of the model should be aligned in teaching among the basic education learners. The triangular shape pertains to the uh, strong foundation of teaching and learning and the color connote to the constant symbol pertaining to the emergency medical services system as well as in medical triage color. So uh, that the shape of star which will support the major themes together with the supporting themes um, it is also referring in a uh, life-saving symbol in what they are called the star of life. Okay, so we chose color blue for the three main themes because it represents confidence of an emergency instructor in teaching emergency preparedness. And um, we chose colors red, green, and uh, yellow for the sub-themes. Okay, so... We chose red for the first uh, sub-theme as it represents the passion and the desire of a rescuer through one's experience in teaching emergency preparedness. Okay, so we chose green for the second sub-theme as it represents the nature of learning emergency preparedness. And for the third sub-theme, we chose yellow as it represents the 
creativity of an instructor in teaching emergency preparedness. For our recommendations, first, the resiliency model should be utilized by teachers who are teaching emergency preparedness and disaster risk management. Second, school administrators should consider sending teachers who will be teaching emergency preparedness to seminars and trainings to hone their skills and increase their awareness on the proper ways in delivering and teaching the subject matter. Third, rescue teams in barangays must create a plan relating to emergency as it prepares and reduces the struggles needed by the population to keep safe when an emergency strikes. Fourth, educating the community about the importance of emergency preparedness can encourage people to gain additional information to make sure that they have what they need when an emergency attacks. Fifth, this research refers to the precautionary measures to reduce the effects of an emergency at home, family, and life. Objective of precautionary measures is to prevent injuries and also protect the community. Okay, so last for our recommendations, students and faculty of schools are encouraged to develop an emergency plan. Developing an action is the first step in preparing for the unexpected. Knowing how to respond can save time and lives, especially their loved ones. Okay, so um, these are all the references that we have used for our study. And that's all for my presentation, and thank you very much.